in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Hear what he says here. Some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, which is what? The dishonorable. He's not talking about the material here. He's saying some of these are for honor, some of them for dishonor. You know what I would call that? I would call honor, an honor vessel in our day and times, I would say something that cooks soup beans. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that's an honorable vessel? Something that makes pinto beans? Uh, has anybody ever had anybody in their family use a spittoon? That's a dishonorable vessel. <laughs> Have anybody ever seen a dirty spittoon? Yeah, I mean, they, and, and I remember seeing spittoons years ago, and some of them were shiny. They looked like they were made of gold, although they were not. But when they got through spitting around on them, they didn't look like gold. How many know what I'm talking about? So there are vessels for honor, some for dishonor. But he says, look what he says, uh, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, if you'll remove, and it means that word cleansing or purge, some of your Bibles will say, means to eliminate yourself from it. In other words, get out of that crowd. Come out from among them. Be separate, right? That's, what, that's the call that the Holy Spirit gives us in the New Testament, right? So that I eliminate myself from the dishonorable vessels, right? Who, who do you want favor with, right? And so he, he's asking us to come out from among them. We may look at those few verses in just a moment. He says, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, these are the dishonorable ones, right? He will be a vessel for honor. How does that happen? By, again, allowing yourself back on the wheel. Let God make you over. Don't come into the house of God with your plan. Drop your plans at the door. 